Well, the Celtic Media Festival continues. With me is Adrian Kane, the, of course, the man at Cotavanan that makes sure we all know everything in Manx. And this guy does a great job. In fact, I must say, bigging you up, you're up okay. for a big award as well because yeah, you're yeah. the big one at the end of, on Friday. Yeah, and, and yourself, well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to win it, but you <laughs> well, might. Well, I don't know. I don't know. But it's nice, to get, yeah. it's nice to get nominations anyway. But yeah, yeah, it's all good. And explain what you've done for that. I mean, you know, what well, you propo- yeah, put in your proposal? Yeah, well, say some. Th- we've done, we've had some stuff up before over the years, a Learn Manx app, um, etc. And this this is, um, um, say, something in Manx, which we've been working with a company in Wales, a good Celtic sort of uh, connection there, which is a brilliant, it is a brilliant um, online, you know, learning resource mm. for um, language. Um, it was firstly developed for Welsh and then and we came in and uh, hopefully it'll be uh, rolled out for other languages. But as a first stepping stone to learning any language, in this case Manx, I think it's brilliant. And so if anyone's, and it'll shock people, I think, if they if they start listening to a couple of lessons and say something Manx, you can just find it online, just Google it. Okay. And uh, um, it'll really surprise people how quickly you can learn. Now, the other reason I really want to yeah. drag in front of the cameras today was you did the sort of introduction, mm. welcome to the Isle of Man, this is how it works, don't say <laughs> certain don't words. Don't the wallabies. Yeah, yeah but, well, I was going to come to that, but yeah. you know, and, and it was an amazing sort of thing that people don't get it outside yeah. the Isle of Man. I thought yeah. that maybe, you, you, is it frustrating when you see yeah. the way the Isle of Man is portrayed by the media? Yeah, oh, very frustrating. And it, it seemed to go down very well, really. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of positive feedback from it. And I suppose if it was going to call it anything, it is don't mention the wallabies. And it's, yeah. it's this idea that... Um, I was, you know, we, we're talking about to many people in the UK, the Isle of Man is the Isle of Wight, you know, and that, that's just, and there's a, that's a first step, stepping stone, getting past that level of ignorance, which is shocking because it happens in media companies and who what was it, Top Gear or something, top, chat, chat, the Channel well, Five One or whatever. Channel it was? Five One, and of course, it, um, uh, Countryside tweeted oh, about yeah, that, right. and which they enjoyed their trip to the Isle of Wight. Even years ago, when the BBC News yeah. people were over, and they were on the Isle of Man, Man. on the prompt, up on the corner, went Isle, Isle of Wight. <laughs> oh. And that, that's the first stepping stone. But then, even when they get past that. Um, you know, it's it's just cliches basically, and that, mm. that's what I was trying to get across. It's you know, low tax TT races, you know, cats, and a few a few other things. They almost think that the man's just full of accountants from Surrey or something like that. It's a bit windier version of Bolton or whatever with lower taxes, <laughs> um, or that you know, when it does make the news, it is. TT, but preferably if there's been an accident, or it's basically basking shots and wallabies. And there's this whole sort of gamut of what it means to belong here, which is just missed and of no interest at yeah. all, really. And it's, I think it's incumbent on us all to try and tell a different narrative and story about it, what it means to live here. Really. I mean, OK, the BBC's going to get a lot of hassle with this, but you get some money off them, and the programmes are made on Manx Radio, yeah, that sort of yeah, thing. But yeah. I've been talking to everyone here, and they're all pretty amazed. There's no local television. I mean, not this television, but yeah. real. It's a real work word. <laughs> broadcast television. Yeah. You know. I think that's one. That's definitely one of the the, the problems here as well. That people even and it, it's, it's incumbent on us in the Isle of Man as well to get the sort of message across about what it means to live and work here and about the history and the culture and the identity. Um, you're talking about things like, you know, the, you know, this is the first um, nation where, you know, women were given the votes and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but even in the Isle of Man, maybe going slightly on tangent, one thing which annoys me, though, is the use of the uh, uh, phrase residence all the time. And I think, it, and unfortunately, if we keep on using that phrase, it's almost the media outlets, even here, are scared to use the word either Manx or Manx citizen or, you know, just citizen. Um, it gives the impression that the Isle of Man is just, you know, for you know, residents to me um, is sort of residential care home. Your people yes. are resident for tax purposes. They don't really live here. They're passing through and stuff like that. So we all need to t- start telling a different narrative. But the lack of TV coverage based in the Isle of Man, I think, is fundamental to it. As well. Another, you, you, maybe you said the idea, but they're using on some of the radio stations. They're saying uh, it's time for the, the local news and not the national I, news. Or well, something. Isn't it, is it another one? <laughs> <laughs> I could talk for a very long time. Yeah, we, do. <laughs> we shouldn't use the word na- na- local make... news. It's, it's Manx news or just news. Right. Basically, local has a wrong. Well, because well, if it's local. Local news. I where's the national news then? Oh, I see. Yeah, and, yeah. The, and if the, that because there's assumption there for the national news is UK news. But this right. th- this is our own nation. You know, Tinwald, um, etc. We sh- you know we need to be more um, proactive in having a more positive. Um, you know, sort of way of articulating, articulating what it means here, and it, it shouldn't be residents, uh, and it's it's national news, national Manx news, basically. How's it been anyway, having these guys over? 
Oh, well, it's brilliant. Is it, I, is it sort of yeah, raise their awareness? Absolutely. I mean, the reality is, and this is what we all have to face about, most people outside the Isle of Man don't know a great deal about it. And even these people here, these are intelligent people working in the media and stuff, when it boils down to it, drill down to it, they don't know a lot about it, you know? Yeah. Um, and that was part of why I was discussion yesterday. And I suppose um, it's good to get people over because they're all amazed by it. They're amazed by the work we do in the language and hopefully yeah. the work Culture of Anning does to try and generate a new sense of, you know, t a different narrative, a story about the island. So they are really amazed by it. Um, but uh, getting back to what we talked about yesterday, it's incumbent in us all, really, to start telling a different narrative and story about the Isle of Man and get away from the, the clichés and the misinformation. OK. Plug for your website. Say something in Manx. It's and wonderful. And Culture Van. And Culture Van. We're yes. both wonderful. Yeah, well done. And, and you uh, are. Hey, Friday. <laughs> Who knows? We Who might knows? be on this champagne yet. <laughs> I don't think so. But no, you never know. But you never know. <laughs>